Welcome back to the channel guys. I'm unboxing my Mishimoto oil catch can for the FK8. And here we have the hoses for the oil catch can. Next we have the holder, the mount. And then the bolts. Actually the clamps are the clamps that hold on to everything and then the bolts that will go to the oil catch can. And this itself right here is the catch can. I will be linking the part numbers and everything. And they gave me a free air freshener. These are the tools needed. Flathead, socket wrench, needle nose, Allen wrench, 10 millimeter socket and extended socket. And now let's pop the hood. And you will be needing a thin strip of adhesive double-sided tape just so the rattling doesn't bother you if it bothers you um, to me it bothered me so I went back and I made this video added this strip after I got all that rattling out you can also use a 3m tape and I will be showing you guys how to cut it to a thin strip and then adding it to the back of the piece there you go right there is added I just did a little small piece 3m a little you will need to remove the top engine cover and make sure you remove all this every single bolt. And next you'll be removing the two clips that are holding down the coil pack harness just so you can have a little loose fit in there so you can get around. Two vacuum hose line as well too. Next you will be removing the two bolts that are holding the air intake lines. So as you see, I'm moving them. There's two bolts holding the fuel rail and there's two bolts that are holding the fuel line and you need to put the Mishimoto plate on the back. And this is how it looks. Once you put the bolts back in, that bracket right there holding it. We'll be connecting the hoses onto the oil catch can. As you see right there with the two clamps already ready to go. And I will show you how it is right now. This is how it's supposed to look after they're connected. Make sure the clamps in, nothing's loose, everything's secured. Uh, everything back in reverse, put the cover back in, put the harness back in, clip everything back, bolt everything up, and this is how the finished product looks. You can barely tell it's there, that's why I got red, so you can see it, it's bright. And I like it, no rattling in the back due to the 3M. So you will see how it is, perfect every start.